Hey there, me again. Today's video is a special one because I finally got to shoot with a film that I've been waiting months to get. I ordered it quite a while ago, and it finally came in. And that film is Lomography's Lomochrome Turquoise. So what is Lomochrome Turquoise exactly? Well, we should probably talk about that a little bit before we get started, and I'm happy to do that for you. So, Lomochrome Turquoise is a film that Lomography came out with originally in 2015 and then reannounced in 2021 after it had gone away for a while. And it's a variable ISO C41 color negative film. So, if you've got a question about the variable ISO title of this film, you're not alone. Lomography does this with a few of their films. I know they do it with Lomochrome Purple as well. Um, but they say that you can rate the film anywhere from 100 to 400 ISO and get usable results. And to make sure as many people as possible can make use of that, they don't put a DX code on the can. But what makes this film so special is not the variable ISO. It's the fact that it turns everything in your photo either a shade of turquoise or orange. So basically it makes all of your photos look like a Hollywood colorist went way overboard with the teal orange color grade that we all know and love. But enough of this, let's get into it and shoot some Lomochrome Turquoise. I've never shot this film before, so for this video I decided to load up one roll into my trusty Canon P and test it under different lighting conditions, so I could see how it behaves before shooting any more rolls of it. I started at this old apartment complex I've been wanting to shoot for a while now. I decided to take three shots, each at one of the ISOs that Lomography recommends. I shot the first exposure at 400 ISO, the second shot at 200 ISO, and the final exposure at 100 ISO. I think 400 ISO works the best and makes the colors pop the most. After that, we headed to Wichita for the weekend where I continued the test. This little stage is such an interesting design. After enjoying that little park, we headed to Town East Square, which is a pretty dead shopping mall. And after watching some old guys have fun with their race cars, I decided to take some eerie photos of the mostly empty space. I think abandoned malls are really interesting. There's a creepy and almost sad feeling that sets in when you see a place that used to be so busy and full of energy left empty and lifeless. The way Lomo Turquoise rendered the lighting adds to this feeling. It made everything look very clean or sterile, almost like everyone had just suddenly disappeared. The faint outline from the missing Dillard sign really adds to this photo too. The mall was followed by lunch at a German restaurant called Prost, which is in this little shopping center made out of shipping containers. I thought this place would suit the Lomo Turquoise very well. The greenery is positioned really well in this photo, and the hearse pointed at the older people is kind of unsettling almost like a modern Grim Reaper sort of thing. For dinner, we went to a nice Spanish restaurant, and afterwards, Christina and I walked around and took some pictures together. Shout out to her for planning this trip for us. I also decided to finish off the roll while walking around. If you have this film loaded in your camera and you see a red building, just go ahead and take the picture. Reds turn into very nice, almost royal blues. So 
So that's about it for my test of Lomography's Lomochrome Turquoise. Uh, I think it's really a fun experimental film that you can use for a very crazy and different look. Um, definitely makes your photos look otherworldly, so that's really fun. But I think it does kind of make your usage of this film very limited, unless you really just don't care about how your photos are going to turn out. You just want to go out and have some fun. So for most of the photos I took in this video, I rated the film at 200 ISO, and I found myself having to bring down the highlight values a lot and kind of drop the luminance for certain colors so that I could get the colors to pop for this film how they should. So in terms of the ISO, I think 400 ISO is probably going to be your best bet in terms of getting the most information out of your negative and getting the colors to be as saturated as possible, which I think is what you're probably going to want when you shoot this film. Also, a quick side note, um, Lomography loves to use those reusable canisters, um, but I always just end up completely destroying them and making them unusable in the darkroom. So, Lomography, could we please just use regular cans that I can crack with a bottle opener? Anyways, I still have three rolls of this stuff, and I don't see myself using it very fast, but I feel like when I find myself in a situation where I want to just have some fun and make stuff look like it is not on this planet, I'll definitely be pulling this film stock out. Um, if you guys have gotten your hands on some of this film, or you've shot it already, I'd love to know your thoughts. And yeah, that's about it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye now. Ah, you thought we were done, but I've got some bonus medium format action for you. Starting at Botanica, which is a botanical garden in Wichita where they were having their annual jack-o'-lantern spectacular. They had tons to do here, including a place to pet animals, and we got to meet this sweet, uh, llama? Alpaca? I'll just call it a grass giraffe. We had a ton of fun here, and I only took one medium format photo of this photo booth in an old school trailer, which had some gorgeous light hitting it. I ended up talking to this guy about film for a bit, and what is up with this pumpkin? We also got a few pics in the photo booth. We also stopped at Leslie Coffee Company, which happens to have a European auto shop next door, where they always have cool cars in the alley. This time it happened to be a group of old Porsches, which are my favorite cars, so I was stoked. We might have to take another one. There's four Porsches in a row. After drooling over these beauties for too long and sketching out the mechanics, we took a couple of pics at Friends University. Here's a few more shots from this roll. Alright, we're really at the end of the video now, so for real this time, bye now.